Hey, T9. I'm here. Transform. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> oh, look at him go. new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be reviewing the all-new T9E. That is right, T9 is back at it once again. This year is the original plain T9, which is an amazing looking transformer robot that transforms from an RC car into a robot. Now, we reviewed this a while ago, and it's actually a very popular product, and this one here is their new model, which is actually a little bit more redesigned, a little bit new design colors, and just a little bit more interesting altogether with the whole voice commands. So if you guys wanted your own, check out their link down below in the description, and big special thanks to Robeson for sending this over. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our T9, which we'll kind of set to the side. You can watch. All right, so this is our cool box. Uh, it's actually like a carrying case at the same time. It says T9E and then it showcases a cool looking blueprint of the robot here on the side. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Uh, so this here is a styrofoam case kind of housing, almost like a suitcase kind of feel for a robot. It has Robeson's logo here on the front etched into it. You got a handle on the top here and then you have these two clips. So you just go ahead and clip this side and you go ahead and clip this side. Uh, and now our previous model came in this like nifty looking metal container, which was actually a prototype for this one here. So that's not exactly what it came up in the actual uh, official one, but this one here is the official of the T9E. So what you see is what you get. All right, uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Nice, that is actually really cool. So this is my first time seeing this as well. So it is a white version. Look at that, that is actually a pretty nifty looking robot. First thing I see is this lovely looking packet here. So it says Robeson, and then inside here will be our user manual. Of course, it says, are you ready? Yes, I am. And I'm sure you guys are too. All right, so inside here, he has our quick start guide. So you have a microphone, a roof light, power button, headlight, pretty much the same standard stuff. So you can go ahead and control it via an app or a voice. So you can go ahead and say, hey, T9, and give it a command. Uh, I'll stand up automatically. Two ways to control it. Robot pro programming, uh, voice programming, action stunts, and actually a lot of different things. You also have this nifty looking sticker pack. You can go ahead and customize the robot up to your own liking. So if you want blue or gray, it's kind of up to you. So you guys decide which one is the cooler one to go with. And then as we move about, we have ourselves a charger. Yes, so this here is actually a nice charger. It's actually not like just a random USB charger. This here is an actual charger designed for this specific robot, and it's white to match the robot, so that's kind of nice. Uh, you also get this USB here, so I'm assuming you have the connectivity of it, allowing you to go ahead and connect to your computer so you can program it, which is always a plus uh, going down the road, so these robots become more open source as you progress. Um, so let's take this guy out, but we have to be very careful. I know the original T9 was very, very sensitive. Uh, and this here is actually a very tight container. All right, okay, he is already slowly transforming. So we have our both of our robots here side by side, and we have our T9 in the car mode. Uh, we have a little bit of sticker here, so it's going to take this off. Check it out, so our two robots side by side. Now, some key distinct 
differences. So for instance, I could tell that the rubber tire is a little bit different on the newer one versus the old. The old one had these shiny chrome plastic pieces for the wheels uh, versus the new one has this almost like metallic silver, which is kind of cool to see as well. Uh, and then you have an extra few different variations of paint. Uh, one thing that I absolutely had an issue with with the old one is this. <laughs> This particular piece would always fall off. Um, you can go ahead and simply put it back on, but it's just really, really annoying. Um, the newer one, on the other hand, is actually on there quite well. I'm not gonna pull it off, but I could tell that it's on there. So that's actually kind of nice. So they did refine it quite, quite well. Hello, humanity. I'm Interstellar Agent T9. <laughs> hey, T9. I'm here. Transform. That is awesome! <laughs> oh, look at him go! That's new! Um, hey, T9. I'm here. Move forward. Oh, sweet! Um, <laughs> you keep showing off, huh? All right, uh, hey, T9. Dance. Guys got some dance moves, huh? Oh, it's a rave. It's a rave. Put your hands up. You okay? Hey, T9. I'm here. Fart. <laughs> That's that. So yeah, that is actually the voice commands. I'm just me just literally seeing any command on the top of my head. Um, so I can actually see those two phrases. Let's try this. Hey, T9. Voice program. Move forward, come back. Come back. Execute. So moving forward. Should come back now. Hey, T9. I'm here. Start programming. Okay, so we're just gonna hold off on that programming aspect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the app next, as that is actually a lot of cool coolness that showcases. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it uh, via the app. All right, so this here is our T9 app. So I'm gonna click on Tap Me, searching for a T9. Where are you going, T9E? All right, and now I have a few different modes here. So I have a programming mode, I have a Bluetooth control, and the Robeson Hub, and gallery. So I can download a variety of different uh, moves and dance moves and kind of implements into the robot, which is kind of cool. So this here is our main control. So we can go ahead and control the robot. We can move it forward. We can move it back. We can make it fire. We can make it shoot a cannon. <laughs> uh, we can do a grenade. <laughs> and we can hit transform. All right, so in terms of the control movements of the car, you can go ahead and move it forward by simply moving the joystick up, just like this. You can move it back. You can go ahead and turn it. 
will, which will actually honk. Yeah, and then you can go ahead and make it turn itself like this. And then you can make it go back as well the same way. And vice versa. So you have all these controls. Uh, you have these different attack modes. That's cool. You have a cannon. And you have a grenade. <laughs> so those are your control movements in terms of controlling the robot. So I can go ahead and hit transform. And I'll go ahead and transform back into his transformable state. So it's actually really awesome. Uh, so if I hit back here, I can go ahead and click on gallery. So these right here are all different built-in uh, movements that you can technically use. Uh, so if I go ahead and introduce myself. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so you have these different uh, motions. So this here is like a supernova knockout. Dude, even the wheels are spinning. That's so cool. I never seen that with the original. Look at this. Watch that. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Uh, so this is simple. So it's a dance. They have a lot of different dances in here. All right, we'll cancel that for right now. Showtime. So shooting the different guns. Showcasing all of its special attack moves. So bring it a little closer here. That's so cool. <laughs> Machine talk. So there's a lot of different things there. You can even do push-ups. So this is a push-up. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of other different things in here as well. Uh, so you can go on block-based programming. This will go ahead and create our own ones. So I can go ahead and hit action. Uh, I can go ahead and select an action. So I can go ahead and have it um, do a greet or like a furious mode. So here's a furious. And then if I hit start. So we just programmed that right now. And you can save that. All right, so this here is gallery mode, which allows us to go ahead and see what other people are making. And I can go ahead and download it onto my phone and I can go ahead and play it as well. Uh, so we have manual programming, uh, manual entertainment, beginner, and this will go ahead and teach us how to go ahead and program the robot. Programming mode has so we're gonna move it up just like this. There we go, and hit plus. Very good, save the action. So we can go ahead and create our own animation. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is called manual programming. So this is kind of interesting. So I hit new programming. Programming mode has started. And I can see my robot here on the left in its ready state. I'll hit start. And now the servos will become uh, released. This allows me to go ahead and move the robot in any gesture I want. So if I click on this here and I hit uh, sync, it'll go ahead and add that motion to our first block. And then if I go ahead and bring it down like this, and I hit sync, I can add it to my second block. And then if I can go ahead and do the other arm, just like this, and hit sync, I can add it to the third block. And then I can go ahead and bring it back down, hit sync, and add it to the fourth block. If I hit play, should play that motion. It's cool, so you can go ahead and essentially keep redoing that as much as you like. So it kind of gives you an idea of what the blocking is about. So it's actually kind of fun, so you can create your own animations, you can put music uh, and create your own custom animations as well. So it's actually a really easy programmable robot. So you have the physical aspect of being able to maneuver the joints, and then you have the other aspect of being able to go ahead and program it using coding, as well as drag and drop play too. 
So it's actually a pretty interesting robot that has a lot of different functionality and is actually well defined. Now, overall, I have to say they definitely did a great job improving this particular robot, uh, especially compared to the original. You can see that it's a lot more refined. And I have to say, it's actually a really awesome bang for the buck, as most of these robots are really expensive, especially nothing of this complexity. Now, if you guys had any questions about this particular T9E, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.